In this video, we build upon what we discussed in our first new palette video. We'll get into some more specifics regarding the differences between hardwood versus softwood, number one versus number two grade lumber, and green versus kiln dried lumber. Now, if you haven't seen that first new palette video, suggest checking it out for some context, but let's get to it. Hardwood trees are considered angiosperms, which simply means that their seed is surrounded by a shell. A couple examples of a seed inside a shell is an acorn, which comes from an oak tree, or a walnut, which you guessed it, comes from a walnut tree. You can usually tell a hardwood tree by its shell encased seed, broad leaves, or densely packed wood grain. Softwood trees are called gymnosperms, which literally means naked seeds. An example of this would be a pine or spruce nuts that you find by shaking out a pine or spruce cone. You can usually tell a softwood by the cones that develop on the tree, its spindly or needly leaves, or its loosely packed wood grain that can easily dent or scratch. The defining characteristic that separates number one and number two grade lumber is the amount of wane or bark left on the piece after it's been cut from the log. Number one grade wood is bark free and each piece is able to pass inspection for ISPM 15 heat treat compliance. Number two grade lumber has either too much wane to hold the same weight as a number one grade board or has too much bark and is therefore not able to be heat treated and is too brittle to hold the same load as a number one grade board. Each sawmill determines the point at which a piece can be saved and sold as a board, and at which point it's too compromised to be safely used on a pallet. Softwood is much more susceptible to mold than hardwood, and that's because softwood is very porous. Now, the porous nature of softwood makes it a lot easier to kiln dry than hardwood because hardwood's fibers are so densely packed. It would take three to five times as long to kiln dry a hardwood than it takes to kiln dry softwood. Now, a kiln dried softwood pallet can hold about the same amount of weight as a green hardwood pallet. The difference doesn't come in the strength rating, the difference comes in the moisture content. A kiln dried softwood pallet is gonna be anywhere from 10 to 15% moisture, which is pretty much close to bone dry, whereas a green hardwood pallet still can hold very similar comparable weight is gonna be anywhere from 30 to 40% moisture. If you're considering buying a new pallet and need to figure out which option is best for you, call your local pallet company and they should be able to answer a lot of your questions. Now keep in mind, some pallet companies are oriented towards recycling and they probably won't have as much information as a company that has spent a lot of time sourcing new lumber and building new pallets. <laughs> 